Retailers expect parents will spend slightly less on their children's back to school needs as summer slips into fall, but schools themselves will likely ask for more help with supplies. Our cover story looks at the squeeze at school. This summer, more parents are back to school shopping earlier than any time within the last decade. Not necessarily spending more, instead spending more wisely. I start early when the school sales start, which is usually end of July, early August, and I buy school supplies for the whole year, so I stock up. My daughter will need a laptop this year. She's going to middle school. The National Retail Federation reports families will spend approximately $635 this year. The website, Retail Me Not, breaks it down to $285 per student, down slightly from brisk spending last year. What's up? Schools asking for help. We're seeing kind of unusual things popping up like um, cleansing wipes, uh, hand sanitizer, things like that. But then also um, that's filtering down into sporting goods and, um, and musical instruments as well. So it is getting a little bit broader than it's been in the past. And as school budgets are strained, teachers and parents are finding new sources for supplies. One of them is called DonorsChoose.org. I went and I put in a project and so I got funded about, you know, 300 and some odd dollars and so I was able to purchase books, reading materials from my classroom library through them. They're a nonprofit organization and they're wonderful. You want to make sure that you're providing the supplies necessary for students to learn, but you also have to be cognizant of how much you're receiving in your paychecks and how much you have to pay for things like rent and food and transportation. Parents are also organizing school supply funds at their work. My employer is involved in a school supply drive, so I volunteered to buy the supplies for those at my work who donate and make sure that we get enough school supplies for the kids you know, who are in need. An additional note, one reason why back to school retail sales may be off slightly from a year ago, because they will be compared to a spike in sales in 2012 due to a lift in consumer confidence at the time.